Alrighty, so today we are going to be looking at using expression, uh, using exponents. Um, we are either going to be expanding them, writing them in exponential form, or we are evaluating or finding each value. So what we're going to start with here is just looking at these numbers that have been written out, expanded, and we are going to write them as exponents. So in class we started with five, with number five here, so let me zoom in here. So what I started with reminding kids is when we're talking about an exponent, there's two parts. There's a base and an exponent. And the base is what is being repeated, and then the exponent is how many times it's being repeated. So I need to see what number here is being repeated. Well, that's two, so that's gonna be our base, okay? And then our exponent is how many times do we see it repeated? One, two, three, four, five, six. So our exponent is six. So this one would be 2 to the 6. Pretty straightforward for these ones. Now, finding each value is a little different. So we did number 11 in class, and we're going to look at this one here. So what I taught them uh, yesterday was expand, group, evaluate. So we need to expand it first. So what does 2 to the 5th power actually look like? I know that 2 is the number that's repeating, and it's repeating 5 times. So I would do 2 5 times. 1, 2, three, four, five, with an operating symbol in between. So you'll see a multiplication symbol or a dot representing multiplication shown. I'm gonna use the dot here. So we've expanded it. Now we're going to group it in a way that makes sense to us so we're not going two times two times two times two. So the way that would make sense here to me is to do a group of three and a group of two. But you'll notice here that I'm leaving out this multiplication symbol because I'll multiply this group's product and this group's product together. So we'll do 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So this whole group up here is worth 8. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So really what we're doing is 8 times 4, which makes 32. So 2 to the fifth power is 32. So when you're solving these um, exponent problems, what we should see is it always being expanded, grouped into a sensible way or a way that we can manage the multiplication, and then solving, finding the final product. Okay, then over here we compared some numbers. So I'm going to do 18. We are comparing using greater than, less than, or equal to. So we're going to do 3 fourths and 5 squared, or 3 fourths, 3 to the fourth power and 5 squared. So 3 to the fourth power looks like this. And the way that I would group it is putting it by 2 because I know 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 3 is 9. And I can simply do 9 times 9, which is 81. Okay? Then I'm going to move over to 5 squared. 5 squared looks like 5 times 5. That's pretty simple for me to do. That's 25. Now, a trick I showed them to use um, when trying to write an inequality symbol is you put two dots next to the one that has the greater value. So in this case, the 3 to the fourth power has the greater value, so I would put 2, and 5 squared has the lesser value, so it can help us to draw our inequality symbol. Okay, so that's what they would do for each one of these. We actually need to solve each exponent in order to compare them. So for each one of these, we're going to compare, like find its actual value, and then we can compare them using our symbols. Okay, then on the back here, we did numbers one through four. Um, these ones are basically just asking us to um, either write it as an exponent or solve it. So we have four squared here. This one would want it to be solved. Three cubed and four cubed, solve them. And then here we have a big expression we would need to write as an exponent and solve it. Um, the one here that I wanted to show is using 10,000. A lot of kids had a hard time with this one because we need to find out what number can we use as an exponent to get 10,000. So because I have a 10 in there, I know that I can use 10 as a base. That's, that one I should clue in real quick is, oh, I'm going to be multiplying 10. And normally I don't like tricks, but this one lends itself so well to figuring out exponents. But when I have a 10,000 or, or 100,000 or, you know, that kind of thing, what we're looking for is 
where is the one and how many zeros follow? So I have one, and then I have one, two, three, four. I have four zeros that follow. So my exponent is 10 to the fourth power. So that one's pretty doable. Um, beyond that, it's, it's really just expanding, grouping, and then applying multiplication to figure out the product. The product yeah. So there's exponents for you. We will be moving from whole numbers to fractions with exponents. Um, but today's just practicing the concept with whole numbers. So if you have any questions, please let me know.